Back in the 20s and 30s, you didn't have electricity to run a space heater, so if you needed some localized warming up inside your house, you got something like this. This is a Coleman number 16 radiant heater. It's got seven ceramic radiants in it, burns Coleman fuel, which is also known as white gas, and was pretty common back in the 20s and 30s. This is the economy version of the radiant heater. They made a, a couple bigger ones. They made one that burned kerosene. This whole thing comes out. This is the, this is the gas tank assembly. It's all painted. I've seen some that were done up in brass. Uh, mine's all painted. Uh, fairly normal stove type generator. Two oh. controls. One is the, the pricker rod, like you'd have on a, a stove. But then this is the actual valve. This is what allows fuel up to the generator. Supposedly it's possible to match light this heater. I, I've never been able to pull that off. I always use a, a propane torch to preheat. There's a little flame there at the end of the generator. It's a good hint that the generator on this is dirty. It's just like a stove generator. There's just a steel tube with a gas tip at one end, and there's a, a rod that runs through it with the pricker rod. So if we tighten down the main valve, we can cut off gas flow, which also cleans the tip. I'll show you where the generator is, and you can see underneath it, there's a flame that heats just the generator to make sure that the generator is always producing gas.